Welcome to Film Riot. Before we jump into today's episode, I wanted to remind you that we do have a podcast, the Film Riot Podcast, and we've been putting out some really great episodes recently, including one with Jody Lee Lipes, who is a cinematographer behind I Know This Much Is True and A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, and the most recent podcast with Natalie Erica James, who is the director of the new horror film Relic, which was a fantastic film, and if you haven't seen it, definitely watch that. But definitely jump over and check out the podcast. Really great and longer conversations with filmmakers where we get to dive into all kinds of things. But today's episode is for my directors. And a big part of being a good director is learning to be a great partner to your cast. And with every actor's process a little different from the next, it's something that really comes with listening and just experience. But to help us directors out, I asked a few actor friends two questions to give us some thoughts about things that don't help. Since knowing what not to do is a great way to know what to do. And answering these, we have Mark Ashworth, who is in my short Ballistic, but also Stargirl and Magnificent. And seven. Matt Lanner from Timeless, and he's the voice of Anakin in Star Wars The Clone Wars. Stephanie Butler, who you saw in Stranger Things, and also my short film There Comes a Knocking. And James Allen McCune from Shameless, The Walking Dead, and Blair Witch. But with that out of the way, I'll let them take it from here. Okay, the worst note a new director could say to an actor, because I've actually heard this before. Not said to me, but to a, to a castmate of mine. On set, trying to do the scene in the middle, the director comes up and goes, what's, um... What's, what's, what's happening in your face? What's going on with your face? <laughs> it's, it's my face. I don't know what you want me to say. I love notes after a take. I think if a director, even if he's got exactly what he might think he wants, if he can give the actor something to work on, uh, state-wise or action-wise, anything at all, um, he would be happier in post-production. I think um, some of the newer directors tend to get caught in the moments of maybe seeing everything come to fruition that they forget to give performance notes. Um, just give something that will change the read, even if you are very happy with the first take. Let's let's try something different and um, let's let's keep keep things keep the the, the the creative juices flowing. I think that's what. Uh, the environment I, I love about film sets is the opportunities, um, as minute as they may be, may alter the course of your script um, in the editing room. So just be prepared to um, heighten or lessen stakes. Give notes. I think new directors tend to be excited about the camera moves a lot from what I've seen anyway. And I feel like there is a neglect of the emotional capacity of their um, their tools, which are their people. <laughs> and the thing about being on set that I have learned in my limited experience has been that it takes one bad attitude to completely destroy the entire day. And I'm not kidding or being facetious uh, or speaking in hyperbole when I say that. You have one bad attitude, you're screwed. And I personally believe that is the lead actors. It's number one on the call sheet's responsibility to take into account. And then it's the director's job. The director needs to understand that the actors are starting their day with a certain perspective that you have to also start from. Respect the fact that they are coming from a life that may be difficult to navigate around for you, but build a relationship with them and their emotional state and find a way to speak through that because they're gonna bundle everything you say with what they're feeling and then give you a performance. So make what you're saying concise, intentional, and respectful. That is key. And really that just comes down to saying more or less. I would say the thing that directors do that hurts them uh, at the start tends to be talking too much. I'd say take all that stuff into account, find the right word or words to drive the point that you understand that this is kind of in their way, that their day that you're filming with is, is plagued with other stuff. Respect their life outside of this. There's more important things. That's all actors need to know is that they're in good hands that give a shit. So give a shit. Okay, so a common thing that I have found that new directors say to actors or have said to me that feels unhelpful is um, just do it different. Because that doesn't mean anything. That gives me no clarity. That gives me no direction. I don't know if you liked it or hated it. Um, so that one feels like it would be an unhelpful note um, coming from a director. And I just want specificity. If you can give me specificity or a, like a new direction to go in, then I can totally take it. But that feels like maybe um, a common thing that somebody who's a little bit newer doesn't know how to specify what they want, so they just want the actor to do something differently. The worst note I have ever been given, personally, 
I'm not going to say who, not going to say specifics, but we were doing a scene. It was very kind of loud in the scene. And I was doing this like performance thing. And the director was on the other side of the set. So it was kind of hard to hear her. And during all of this, we kept rolling. And the director was like, do it sexier. Just be sexier. Do it sexier. What in the hell does that mean? That's up to your interpretation. So I'm like, I don't know. What do you want me to do? Like flip my hair like a Sports Illustrated model? I don't know. You want to be uh, you want to be sexy? I don't know. I don't know. What does it mean? What does it mean, directors? You be sexy. I think the worst direction I've ever had is probably when a director doesn't direct, when they actually like don't say anything to you. And they're just like, yeah, hold on. And then they talk with some other people and then they don't give you any feedback or any direction. Um, and then they just say, we're gonna go again. Um, most of the time I end up jumping in and being like, hey, what are you looking for? Did you like the last take? Do you need something different? Um, but I feel like that's some of the worst direction I've ever had, um, just cause it feels like they don't know what they're doing or they're wearing too many hats. And so they're not able to really attend to the performance. Um, so I'd say probably that. Um, and then otherwise the worst direction is obviously when somebody's yelling at you. If they're yelling at you, it doesn't feel like a safe space or a safe environment. So I think um, for any director or the thing that I look for when working with a director is to make sure I feel really safe with them, that it's collaborative and that I'm able to communicate um, to make sure that they're getting what they need and that I feel like I'm getting what I need in order to give the best performance possible. So the worst direction I've ever got from a director, I would have to go back to a commercial that I did donkeys years ago where I worked with this director from LA, not that that matters, but he was a wanker. And he was what I call a sock puppet director in which he stuck his finger up and he did that. He made me be that. He tried to make me be that rather. Um, he wanted me to say the line like this and then he gave me the line reading and uh, that will make an actor shrivel up and die. A uh, little piece of me died, I felt used, I felt like I needed a shower. Um, it kind of robbed me of the craft, um, he tried to, I protected the craft and I tried, you know, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not about that, so. Don't be a sock puppet director. I was doing an episode of a show uh, that I was on a while back that I loved. I was having a great time. The director for this episode was really, really great. And we were really gelling. He was also from Georgia. So we like, you know, we, we talk shop about uh, fried chicken and stuff. And then we cut to the next episode, same day, different director. Uh, this was one of his earlier attempts at directing, but it was television. So it's really high stakes. He was in a very, very rough, tight spot. He's used to being a first AD. So this was, a huge deal for him. And he unfortunately had to deal with me having a bad time. I don't know why, but the lines fell out of my ass. I screwed up. I was having a day where I just, I wrecked myself, drove fast and hard into a wall and kept doing it because I was stair falling. I was, I was, I was slipping once and then continued to after a while. That's what happens with actors. We spiral. And what this guy should have done is pulled me aside and had a moment with me to empathize. What he did instead, was stay in Video Village in another room where I heard, ah, oh, come on! So don't do that. Because that was the whole day. It was him going, oh, oh my God. James, what's going on? Miserable. The day was awful. It was awful. And it was because he couldn't get past his feelings or mine, which was impossible, to see humanity in the situation. All he saw was numbers and timing and, you know, lines, which I didn't have. So it was, Definitely something that was my responsibility to have done better, but the way that he addressed it only made things worse. When I run a set, I have what I call the, the Triforce of Importance and Necessity to a successful set, and it's communication, respect, and hustle. And if you lose one of those, you have a bad time. You just will. It's always going to be the case. And uh, that's the day that I decided to never let that happen to anybody else. So remember that communication, respect, and hustle, and sit in the mud with your actors. Because if they're having a bad time, you're going to have a bad time. Respect that. And that's all I have to say. So have a great day, Film Riot. I hope this wasn't too late. I love you guys. And so long. Ta-ta. Toddy bye. 
I don't know how to end things or begin them. It's all a mess. I can be better. I can be better than this. I know it. Massive thank you to all of you for taking the time to answer those questions for us. I, I think hearing directly from actors in this way is so invaluable for a director, especially hearing things of what not to do, things to avoid, because that's also going to help you lean toward the what to do. But check out the link in the notes below. That's gonna take you to a blog post on our new website that goes into this a little bit more. I have some other episodes about acting that we put up there, and you're gonna be able to find links to the actors that you saw today, including where you can find them online and some of their other work. So definitely check that out. Plus, you'll be able to look at the new design of our site, so it's, it's pretty much a win-win. But until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.